Hey guys, what's up? It's Farsighted Moto here, uh, taking you along on my journey to pick up my new 2021 S1000RR K67. Really, really cool. Excited to share the journey with you. This is my sixth bike. What's really great here is, uh, as uh, I have this bike, we're going to go through the journey together of doing modifications, taking care of suspension setups, uh, going out for rides. I got some really cool products coming, Gillis Tooling, Evo Tech, I already got a lot of stuff ordered. I got some Roundel lights which will go on, uh, Austin Racing, we're going to look at a Bren Tuning Stage uh, 2 Tune. Uh, I'm open to other options there as well. As far as I know, that's the only real option. All the reviews are great. If y'all have any recommendations or other suggestions, I am certainly open to that. I think uh, this will be a really good experience to kind of see what's out there and how they go together. You know, just have a good time. So, with that, uh, next clip will be, you know, the actual pickup and purchase of the bike. And if you guys want to follow along on the journey, I'll have uh, several videos uh, for installs and things like that. And uh, keep the comments coming. Please like and subscribe. New channel. I'd like to see a big uh, viewer count and interact with you guys and hopefully get out and ride together. Have a good time. So with that, we'll cut to the next one. Oh, hey. Look what I got. Okay, so got her home, got her unloaded with uh, a little bit of help from my neighbors. I had ordered some ramps that didn't show up, so that's kind of neat. I've already got the cap off of it, got her in the chalk, and gonna start uh, putting some parts on. I got a whole big stack of things over here in my mess um, that we're going to put on the bike. I'll probably do it over a few videos. Uh, but that said, um, quick little review on the buying process. Work with Josh over at Grassroots BMW. He was tremendous to work on. Uh, that uh, whole organization seems very well run. Definitely a customer first organization. Um, not a paid uh, promo by any means. To be fair, I paid them. So <laughs> that is what it is. Um, but my initial impression, I went out and I just put a couple, three, four miles on it. And I mean, that's basically it. The bike definitely wants to go, um, even in the break-in mode, uh, she wants to go. I think with some seat time, I'm going to be throwing this around, so that'll be fun. Um, I'll probably get some videos, riding videos up. The TFT screen is so cool. Um, I'm sure you've seen other YouTube videos with these on it, so I won't go crazy with all the functions, but this is definitely modern, and I made the joke it's the old man's sport bike because it's got heated grips, it's got cruise control, it's got all the phone integration. Definitely worth buying if you have the means and you enjoy riding. Before this, I had a KTM Super Duke 1290R. Uh, first gen, though, mine was a 2014 or 15, I forget which, but it didn't have all these. It had some traction control and some wheelie control, but it wasn't very good, <laughs> so it was usually off. Uh, and then before that, I had a 12R1 cross plane. Bunch of stuff done to it. I might put some pictures in the video to kind of show you. And then before that, a Hayabusa that I had a built motor for, uh, Jixer 600 that got stolen. bike thieves and my first bike was a 01 katana can of tuna so i've got a lot of experience on bikes um lots and lots of miles tend to do the knee dragging thing and so when i say that this one is absolutely ready to go i i'm not exaggerating i'm pretty excited to share with you guys everything we're doing so that's basically the intro video. Um, look forward to putting up more of these. Uh, like, subscribe, share, you know, help me get this thing rolling and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, comments are welcome if they're constructive. If they're not, I'll probably just ignore them. Otherwise, yeah, thanks all.